Hey, I'm just curious. What is that flag right there? That flag? What is that? Flag? I think it's a pride flag. Can you can you take it down, please, right now? For what purpose? Because it offends me greatly. Can I get a manager up to the front, please? In Arizona, the jackass complaining about the pride flag is a conservative provocateur named Ethan Schmidt. Yeah, that stuff is satanic. We can't have that, especially at PetSmart. The PetSmart cashier stays calm. I've got a manager. Okay. Within moments, up walks a store manager. Excuse me, what is that flag right there? It's a pride flag. Can you take that down, please? No, PetSmart um, supports belonging, which includes for LGBT. Do you support people. pedophilia and child sexualization? Because that's what that stands for, man. Oh. They're sexualizing kids with that flag, man. Well, so I feel I'm very offended, and I would like it to be taken down. The manager calmly tells Schmidt to get out. Well, we'll we're going to... Ask Respect your customers. Respect your customers and please take it down for me. The manager also politely stands firm. Well, we aren't going to. We are supportive of LGBTQ plus people here, so we're gonna have to ask you to, to leave. Our, to that's, do you know what the real that's that's the that's the rainbow of Satan. The real rainbow is from God. The real rainbow is from God, man. That's the rainbow of Satan, so it's very offensive to me. Very good. Thank you for coming by and sharing that with us. <laughs> You don't, you don't support it, do you? I do support it. Yes. You support sex, sexualization no, support of the children. The LGBTQ. Do you know what the, you know what they're doing to the kids, right? They're they're they're. We're asking you to leave. They're trying yes. to. They're, so you're, they're, you're uh, breaking the law now because we've asked you to leave and you aren't. That's true. At this point, he is breaking the law. They're sexualizing kids that with a, with that propaganda. It's disgusting. Jamie, Our country is going downhill yes, because so. of it. Jamie, can I get you to the front, please? We're asking. Wow, Peco. Peco sexualizes kids. They support the sexualization of kids. Next up, the wow. store general manager. Yeah, this. Uh, you guys are promoting the pride flag, which is satanic. Okay, you gotta go, bud. Come on, we don't need it here, and you don't need to film me either. It's cool, but we don't need it. I mean, you want it? You want to stand outside? That's cool, but we don't need it. And okay. yeah, we're gonna have the pride flag up. We have it all over our store. Okay. So you guys support the sexualization of kids? I'm just not gonna get into you. You guys support so you could, no, sexualizing you, kids? You could go. You can go. I can call shame the police. On shame on the police. you. Shame on you. Shame on you guys. Seriously. Okay. That's shame cool. On Thank you. I appreciate shame you. on Petco. I appreciate. This is Pet. This is Pet Smart, said the manager, not Petco. Ethan Schmidt, the right wing provocateur, is an idiot, of course. But in Arizona, he has also threatened violence. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. In June 2022, Ethan Schmidt and a buddy of his made a video during Pride Month promising they were going to make a scene at Target stores because that retailer also supports LGBTQ rights. We're going to make massive scenes in every single Target across Phoenix, Arizona. Schmidt also added this. You know, I also like to hunt LGBT supporters on, on my free time. Uh, that's one of my favorite pastimes, you know. We're also, yeah, we're going to be going on hunting expeditions pretty soon, you know, hunting the LGBT supporters across Arizona and Phoenix. So, you know, keep, keep an eye out for that because, uh, you know, you're not safe. If you support the LGBT agenda, you're not safe. You are not safe. The irony is, did you notice what he was wearing? An Under Armour t-shirt and Under Armour also supports LGBTQ pride. Under Armour even sells a line of pride clothing and hats. In any case, Ethan Schmidt previously filmed himself saying he likes to go after people whose health is high risk if they get COVID. My favorite pastime is harassing cancer patients and people that wear masks. I love to just harass people. Naturally, this wingnut has appeared alongside Kerry Lake, a Trump-endorsed conservative candidate for Arizona governor. As for the PetSmart incident, a spokesperson said, quote, At PetSmart, we strive to create an environment where every associate feels like they truly belong. We are proud of our associates who de-escalated this situation and reinforced our commitment to belonging. Indeed, kudos to PetSmart and to all who defend LGBTQ rights. As for Ethan Schmidt... You gotta wonder if he is repressing something. People who hate LGBTQ the most are often the folks who cannot stand their own impulses. Just saying.